We'll cover streaming settings and features of the HDVS series of cameras from Atlona. To begin, once your camera is on the network, find the IP address of that camera and put it into the address bar of your browser. This will take you to the login page for the camera. Begin by entering your username and password for the device and click login. For streaming services, we'll be focused on the device settings panel. And here we're going to first click on the encoding option. Notice uh, this device will have both an RTSP server and an RTMP server. You can choose to enable or disable these two servers. You'll also see we have a mainstream and a substream section under this tab. Uh, any settings here will affect the mainstream, which is primary video feed and provides the highest quality feedback. The stream is used by a digital recorder when saving footage to a hard disk. Adjusting these settings will affect the recording size and available recording time on the hard disk. Substream is the secondary video feed and provides a lower quality video stream. This stream is used to stream video to computers and mobile devices. Adjusting these settings will affect the bandwidth of the stream. Under compressed format, you have both H.264 and H.265. H.264 is an industry standard codec that provides good quality compressed video output. And H.265 provides a higher compression ratio than the H.264, thus reducing the bandwidth necessary for higher resolution video capture. Under the profile tab, you will find three different options. BP stands for baseline profile. This supports a limited set of processes and is designed to meet the needs of mobile devices. MP stands for main profile and supports a good number of processes and is typically used for devices such as set-top boxes. HP is high profile and supports all processes of H.264 and targets full HD, that's 1080p, applications such as Blu-ray and satellite streams. Under the image size, you can select resolution that you want to stream. Below that, bitrate. And below that, the stream key. Now here you would enter the stream key into this field. This key is used to identify the stream, allowing the stream to be displayed on a website. Let's now set up a sample stream. To do that, I'm going to switch to VLC player. That's the player I'm going to choose to use here. You can use other players. This is just the one on my laptop. So from VLC player, I'm going to open network. And in my URL, I'm going to type in RTSP colon the IP address of my camera slash the stream key, which was live slash AV0. And then click on the open button. And this will bring up the feed from my camera. You can see there I wave my hand in front of the camera and you can see that we are now streaming live onto the network. Next from the device settings menu we will select the publishing option. Notice here you can enable or disable the mainstream or the substream by check marking the box at the top of the mainstream or substream section. Protocol type here is RTMP and this cannot be changed. Host address is where you will specify the IP address of the stream in this field. For example, if you were streaming this on YouTube, this IP address would be your address from YouTube. Host port is where you specify the port. Stream key is where you'll specify the stream for this field. Again, this would come from YouTube, as well as the stream key. By default here, the key is live slash AV0 for the mainstream and live slash AV1 in the substream. Next we'll look at the RTP multicast section and here too you will have the ability to enable or disable the main and the substreams by check back, uh, marking the appropriate box. RTP real-time protocol uh, is the first option under the protocol type. You also have TS which is transport stream uh, is the other option you have. Uh, and here you'll have the multicast address and the multicast port for streaming this on the network. Let's look at a sample for the RTP stream. To do that, I'm actually just going to highlight and copy 
the address that's been given to me on the page here. Again, I'm going to switch back to my VLC player, open up network, and in my URL, I'm going to paste that stream that I was just given on the camera page and click open. And there is my RTP stream. Once again, I will wave my hand in front of the camera so we can see that it's live and we are streaming now on the network. One last feature to note here under visual settings where you have picture focus, exposure, noise reduction, style, and on uh, screen display options. Uh, when you click on one of these options here, you will also receive a live feed from the camera right there available in the web page. Right, that's it for setting up the stream using the HDVS cameras. To learn more, you can check us out at lona.com and visit the HDVS camera pages. From there, you can also access these videos as well as the resource manual and firmware updates as needed.